The dogs keep convulsing. She's gassing the shit out of the room. I had the windows open and everything. I'm guessing it's coming out of the outlets and probably the ceiling. She knocked me out for... I don't know how long. I woke back up at 1 a.m. They were probably going to descend or she had already been in here. It's hard to know. I can't remember what time I fell asleep. But both of the dogs have been convulsing. I was just going to try to get it on camera. But the light wakes them up. And here's Vita. She's just trying to breathe some fresh air. I know how it feels. You sit here and it's just like you just want to stop breathing it in. You just want to escape it. You just want to get away from the fucking burning shit sensation of it coming into your body. causing these dogs to convulse. It's going into their nervous system. It's too much already. Too many times. My prediction is that these dogs will die of this. Eventually. Due to cancer or disease of some sort or something or another. Yeah, that's my prediction. Because it's too much for too long a period of time. You know what's just so fucking sickening is listening to that crazy fucking crack whore fucking be nice to them talk to them. You know, she sounds very similar to me, which is just uh I don't know if she's mimicking. I don't know if she already sounded similar to me. But and then she talks to them and calls them same things I do. I have an audio last night going Miho, oh, I mean, good fucking God, you're literally killing them and then you pretend to be their friend. It's just so fucking sickening. It's just so disgusting. They're going to start convulsing again. I'm going to try to keep getting it on video. It's not like dreaming. I've had dogs for my whole life. I know the puppy dreams. I know the when they're running in their dreams. They're playing in their dreams. They're doing whatever in their dreams. Now this is inv involuntarily spasming as a reaction to what's right now in the air. This bitch needs to fucking die. She needs to fucking die. And at my hands, that's, that's preferable. I used to not want to stain my fucking life with that piece of shit bitch. But now... I've moved past that with all the raping and the, you know, raping me right next to my dogs. The fact that Miho's light has just gone out of his eyes. Just the fact that he doesn't even hold his head up anymore. He just constantly has his head bowed down in fear. You know, he doesn't, she fucking wears my clothes. They talks like me, acts like me. You know, Miho looks fucking confused. 
You know, I walk into the room and he's just like, are you that crazy insane bitch? Are you my mom? And who's my mom anymore? She's not the lady that protects me because you fucking lay there like a dead fish as they fucking beat on me or terrify me. And, you know, for somebody like her that has no feelings or emotions, she can't possibly understand, but she likes the fact that it upsets me. I know that. She likes that. She likes anything that's harmful, horrible. I mean, basically everything that is just the most disgusting part about... The most disgusting thing that you could actually be as a human. That's what she is. It's so crazy. Miho's jerking on this side. Yeah, I don't get it. They're forcing the situation to be that I now, you know, giving them away is only, that's just the best option. Because, and I no longer really feel any more feelings of like, I can't do it or whatever, because they they destroyed them. There's no connection anymore, you know? Because they can't connect with me. They can't even fucking connect with the world now. They're just so fucking destroyed. And it's like, you know, I give them away. And I've got a place waiting right now that'll take them tomorrow if I want. You know what that enables me to do? I can go give my bus to that guy. He can fix it up. In the way that he's probably going to fuck it up with them. He's going to give it to them. Just like he's giving the other vehicle to them right now. And, uh, yeah. And I can take a plane and go anywhere. So. And then that'll be it. That'll be it for Crack Whore. It'll be done and hopefully they'll bury her. Because at that point, she's just a liability. She's just a liability, and she's nobody to nobody. She thinks she's some big fucking crack whore bitch. Sex trafficking, fucking torturing, diseased whore. She thinks she's fucking big time. You know what? You know what they don't do to big time people? They don't shove them up into attics for years on end with a surrounded by dead cockroaches they don't do that to big time people she's a fucking potato piece of shit small potatoes she ain't shit they picked her cause they could use her they picked her cause she's disposable they picked her cause they can go bury her somewhere and who the fuck is gonna say anything who? One of her crack whore friends? Right? Because they give so much shits about her. Right? Only my neighbor in Los Angeles who fell for her. I bet she's one of the most manipulative, fucking diseased, in the head pieces of shit that ever walked this planet. And the fact that feds don't want to put a needle in her arm is beyond me.